uh, good morning all after a long time i'm meeting you all through my video since i was not well i could not make the videos uh, immediately uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, ambiguous grammar let us see the definition for the ambiguous grammar first let g be the context free grammar and in general we know that g can be defined by four tuples v sigma r s where v is a set of variable sigma is a set of terminal r is a set of production rule and s is a start symbol of course s is also a variable okay if there is a string w and if the string is generated by this grammar g it can be ambiguously derivable when if there exists more than one parse tree the other name for parse tree is derivation tree so in that case we can call the string as ambiguously derivable okay when can we say the grammar itself is ambiguous the context free grammar is said to be ambiguous if there is at least one string or one word which belongs to the particular language is ambiguously derivable otherwise the context free grammar is said to be unambiguous okay now let us see about the parse trees two parse trees we want which should look structurally different and the two parse trees may be obtained from one lmd lmd means leftmost derivation and from one rmd rightmost derivation or both the parse trees can be two leftmost derivations or it can be two rightmost derivation also this is the definition of ambiguous grammar now let us see uh, an example which will further give the clarity about what is ambiguous grammar right this is the example i have taken in this example s derives as s derives as bs s derives epsilon there are three production rule i have numbered this production rules also now we are going to derive a string let us derive a string for example let it be a a b if i try to derive the string i should find two ways to derive the same string so that i would be able to get two different parse trees which differs structurally then i can say that the grammar is ambiguous let us try that yes derives i have numbered the rules we are choosing the very first rule as now there is one and only variable which is s yes. this s could be replaced by a s b s i now write the number of the rules first we have selected the rule number 1 secondly we have selected the rule number 2 now there are two variables among the two variables let me choose the leftmost one in the derivation process at every time if we choose the leftmost variable for the further derivation then it is leftmost derivation okay now i replace this s by epsilon if i replace this s by epsilon this s is vanished so i have applied rule number 3 now there is only one variable is left out let me replace that s also by epsilon so we have obtained the string a a b so lastly i applied the rule number 3 that also i have written all right <clears throat> now let me try to derive the same string or let me find out the way to derive the same string any other alternative way so s derives let me choose the rule number 2 which is a s b s so i have chosen the rule number 2 again i let me follow the leftmost derivation because there are two variables i'm going to choose the leftmost variable now this s is replaced by as now i have applied the first rule in place of s we are replacing it by as now at the next instant i am replacing this s by epsilon if we replace s by epsilon obviously the s is vanished we have applied rule number 3 so we have a a b yes now this s also let us replace it by epsilon so we are applying rule number 3 so the string obtained is a a b right based on the option of the rules based on the choice of the rules only we can come to know or we are very sure that we will be getting or obtaining two different parse trees here to derive the string a a b we have chosen the rule 1 2 3 3 but to obtain the same string for the second time we have chosen the rules in the order 2 1 3 3 
okay let us see correspondingly the power series for this okay let me call the first derivation as lmd1 and the second derivation as lmd2 leftmost derivation 1 and leftmost derivation 2 now i'm going to draw the power series for lmd1 power series the root of the power series is always the start symbol of the grammar yes in this case s is replaced by a s for every terminal and for every variable we have to create a node so let it be a and this is s <coughs> again now this variable can be replaced by other root so at the second step we replace through this s by a s b s so let us replace it by a yes b yes at the next instant we replace this s by epsilon and this s also by epsilon if you look into only the terminals of the parse tree a a b we obtained the string right now let us draw the parse tree for leftmost where derivation 2 so lmd2 the parse tree looks like this let us begin from the root of the uh, root symbol or the start symbol of the grammar which is s now this is replaced by this s is replaced by a s b s a s b s now this time i just uh, circle only the variables because the variables are to be further replaced now this s is replaced by a s a yes at the next step we are replacing the s by epsilon this s is also by epsilon this s is also by epsilon now look into the terminals are the leaves of the parse tree the string obtained is a a b in fact a a epsilon b epsilon but epsilon doesn't make any sense here the string is a a b if you look into the parse trees both the parse trees are structurally different but it is deriving the same string so we can come to the conclusion that this grammar is ambiguous if there is one string which is ambiguously derivable then the entire grammar can be called as a ambiguous grammar of course we proved with one string that is a a b is ambiguously derivable so we can say the entire grammar is ambiguous okay with the same grammar we see one more example <clears throat> okay let me try to derive the string a a a b b from the given grammar okay uh, if you want to show two different parse trees while deriving the string involve all the production rules so that it is easy for us to prove the given grammar is ambiguous this is an important tip so let me choose the very first rule s derives as i have chosen the rule number 1 now let me choose this variable s yes. in place of s yes, let me replace by the second production rule as bs again let me stick on to leftmost derivation which i am more comfortable with so this s can be replaced once again by the same production rule as bs rest of the rule i'll write as it is bs so once again we have applied the rule number 2 right now again there are t 3s variables every time this s is replaced by epsilon so this s is replaced by epsilon so that s is vanished next time we are replacing this s by epsilon this s is also vanished finally this s is also replaced by epsilon so we obtained the string a a a b b <coughs> okay let us try to derive the same string uh, in some other way we try to find it out whether is there any alternative way to derive the same string so s derives let me choose the second rule for the first time a s b s again let me stick on to the leftmost derivation let me call it as lmd2 now this s is replaced by as which is rule number 
Now again the leftmost variable s is replaced by rule number 2 a s b s. <coughs> again let me target our leftmost variable that is replaced by epsilon. We have applied rule number 3. So now every time this s are replaced by epsilon b b s. Finally, this is, is also replaced by epsilon. So, we obtained the string a a b b. Certainly, I can say that there is another way to derive the same string. Because look into the order of the rules we have chosen here. In the first case, we have chosen the rules in such a way that 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Whereas, for the second time, we have chosen the rules 2, 1, 2, 3, 3. If the order of the rules are changed, obviously the structure of the parse tree also changes. So for the first derivation, let me show the parse tree. Yes derives. A, yes. Now this S could be replaced by A, yes, B, S. I just draw the node structure only for the variables. Now this S once again can be replaced by A, Yes, B, S. Finally, every S is replaced by Epsilon. If you just read the terminals from left to right of the parse tree, we will be obtaining the same string. A, 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 B and then B. Of course, we obtained the string. For the second derivation, if I draw the parse tree, it looks like this. Yes. It could be replaced by A, S, B, S because first time itself we have chosen the rule number 2. So the structure differs here itself. <coughs> now this S is replaced by A, S. Again further this S could be replaced by the second rule A, S, B, S. Now every time the S is replaced by epsilon. So, we obtain the same string A, 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 B, B. The way I connected the terminals, from that only you can make out that there are two different pass trees which are structurally different. So, if we are able to obtain two different pass trees for the same string, then the grammar itself is said to be ambiguous grammar. I hope you would have understood with these two examples. I request all my viewers to subscribe, share, like and comment on my videos. Thank you.